Hey guys, welcome back to Tippy Outdoors. It's another Friday night, and as you can see, the sun is going down. Probably only 20 minutes of light left. Got a couple days to do some catfishing, do some trolling, see what we can catch. This weekend, I'm going to be fishing my favorite spot right here. This is called Spider Point. Why is it called Spider Point? Because there's so many different kinds of spiders here, sometimes it's kind of scary. Anyhow, need to get some lines in the water. Not much traffic up here this evening. And guess what? I don't have any cut baits, so. I have a ton of crawlers though, so. Hopefully we get something on some crawlers tonight and do some trolling in the morning. Maybe catch some cut bait tomorrow. All right guys, let's get some cats. Morning guys, out on the morning troll. Last night was kind of disappointing, not one jingle jingle. Been trolling around for about an hour yet, haven't had any bites. Just talked to a guy trolling, I know he's a local, he trolls around Spider Point probably just about every day. He says the fishing's gotten really slow. I think he's only picked up two walleye and a rock bass in the past week, so. But I'll tell you something. Definitely going to be finding a shade tree this afternoon. I'm only supposed to have mid-80s, but... I don't have any cut bait. I'd like to try out some cut bait tonight for sure. See if I can get a cat or two on the end of my line. This morning I'm using a pink and white crawler harness on one rod, on the other rod. I am just using a night crawler. Nothing yet, but you never know. Fish gotta eat, right? Fish on, guys. Fish on. This is just on the plain night crawler, no harness. Been trolling for about two hours, not a bite. Glad something finally bit. Doesn't feel very big. Good job, ducky. What do we have here? Huh? Decent wall, decent wall. All right. There you go, guys. It's a pretty decent follow. Let's get a quick measurement on this guy. Donkey sit. Alright, guys, that's a 19 and a quarter inch walleye. Pretty nice looking fish. I'm gonna get him back before it gets too hard. Well, that woke me up. Let me show you guys what I'm using real quick today. Just got a single hook that goes down to a stinger. Just a little treble hook. Something like that. Looks like I need a new crawler. Just trolling back to camp to get some lunch. We'll get a fresh crawler on that one. Stroll back to camp and maybe we'll get a cat offshore this afternoon. Alright guys, it's the middle of the afternoon. Definitely shade tree time. Mid 80s now. Haven't had any jingle jingles offshore the entire weekend. So, 
Got a couple worms rigged up here. Time to get some bluegill for cut bait. I just cut one a couple minutes ago. Cast it back out. Kind of this log here. I had on something really big. Lost them on a log. I'm like, well, heck, I might as well bring the camera over. Maybe it was a catfish. I sure. My largest catfish is caught on a little treble hook. Oh, about that big. Doing what? Trying to catch cut bait. You never know. monster. Okay, it's pretty small. That right there, we'll use a hole. Put a size four, four odd kamikatsu right through his back here tonight. Keep him live. Go throw him in the flow troll. And for me, it's not even about catching fish. I sure do enjoy it when I do. That's a lot of fun. But I'll tell you something. I fish just to enjoy the great outdoors, the fresh air and the beautiful scenery and just to relax, you know. Heck, I could be sitting at home watching some old guy on YouTube fishing, you know. Hey, piece of gas. Non-stop panfish action. I'm going to hook that tree limb one of these times. Gotta be a couple big ones out there. Got that one. Another decent bluegill. Go throw him in the flow troll. Found Ducky. She's back sleeping next to the campfire pit. You have the cell there, Ducky? You need to catch a few more bluegills for her night, Missy. Nice little sunfish. Go throw. <laughs> Ducky's looking at me like, who's he talking to? Talking to the guys. Hey guys. Go throw him in the flow troll too. Nice cut bait right there. Get a few pieces off that fish. Alright guys, well, that's probably enough pan fish action for a while. I'll see you guys when we're trolling tonight. Let's get some cats.
Yeah, see that? 150 yards of brand new 20 pound fire line. Gone. Guy ran over my line. My bell starts going off. Of course, I'm like, hey, hey, you're in my lines. So he throws her in reverse. Strips out all my line. My rod's like doubled up. I tell you, man, you can't fix stupid. Might have enough line to put on this reel. Maybe not. Gets me worked up, ducky. Brand new St. Croix. Whew. Oh well. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. A couple more hours of this and it's rolling. Need to catch some fish. Need to catch some cats. out of wood. Probably be up until this burns out. Another hour or so at least. Overdue for a cat, guys. Overdue. Jingle, jingle, guys. Jingle, jingle. Ducky and I just had two raccoons up in a tree. They were messing with our food pails last night. Not wanting to come through those weeds there. Sometimes if they get hooked on a snag, all you gotta do is open up your bill, let them swim a little bit. These are really big fish, or a ton of weeds with it too. Even deep in those weeds. Decent fish, guys, decent fish. He's just playing those weeds big time. I might have to buy a scale, guys. This, this fish is way over 10 pounds. Go grab my player, sold tight fish. Big ol' head on him. All right. That's what I'm talking about, ducky.
I need to bring up a landing mat so I don't get the fish all dirty. I keep on forgetting. This fish is not hooked that bad. I want to put my hand in his mouth though, I can tell you that. Ah, there we go. Pop it on. That's what I caught him on, guys. Good old bluegill head. I'm gonna go grab my camera real quick. This is a, might be the biggest camera I've caught this year. All right, guys. Before I go get a measurement, let's take a look at this big guy. He is old and beat up, and he's got a down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Are you kidding me? That's a nice cat. Yeah. Big ducky. Not the longest, but the heaviest fish. He just rolled down the hill into the lake. He was all beat up and old, though. Get out of there, ducky. I want you to get hooked. Way over 10 pounds, though. Big old catfish head on. He wins the prize for the biggest head of the year. If you could give a prize for that. Well, you guys probably didn't see him, but that's all right. Go we'll get the fish slime off my hands and get that bluegill head back out. All right, guys, let's get some cans. All right, guys, I just had a very aggressive jingle jingle on this rod have quite a large piece of bluegill on it though, so I'm going to give him a minute. If I get one more little jingle on it, I'm going to see if he's there. Good morning guys. I've had the lines out here about two and a half hours now and no jingle jingles. I got a front moving in right now. I got some storm clouds. I got a feeling I'm going to get rained on here pretty shortly. Luckily I got camp all picked up and I'm going to reel in these two rods and throw the rest of my stuff in the boat and probably call it a weekend. Yeah, it's starting to sprinkle right now. Well, it's a pretty decent weekend. Uh, caught one walleye and one catfish well over 10 pounds. Just a beast. Plus I caught about six bluegills, used half of them for cut bait last night, got the other half for my next adventure. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on Tippy Outdoors and until next time. Round and round he goes. Good old spider point. He was a friendly looking one. There's some ugly spiders here.